Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the cards I believe you need to have on every single team if the coins sell out, of course. I'll obviously give a few other little disc, um, honorable mentions in case you're not near those amount of coins. I get that. But, guys... I've been playing a decent amount of online. I'm pretty deep into seasons. Weekend League starts soon, so I thought this would be an appropriate time to make it. I didn't want to make this video until I properly labbed my players and really got a feel for what this game was like and what the community overall thought. Now, guys, there's a few. There's some cards that are just, like, straight up glitchy. Like, I can't explain it, but I, I, I'm happy just when I, like, just seeing them play on the field. I'm just happy having them because I know that they're going to do some crazy things on the field. Now, this year, in my opinion, the running game feels solid feels really solid like i'm loving the run game now the passing game in my opinion it's not bad it's fine i just feel like there's some little like there's some iffiness to it as far as possession catches it's kind of getting annoying at this point when people are just overthrowing possession catches and diving into them and once you dive into them there's no animation to hit them possession catches last year i get it sometimes they'd have the dumb animation where they could fall down slowly and then get nailed and it was kind of stupid but this year they actually are oh, like overpowered. So like I don't know. I I, I don't want to argue because I don't really want to. I don't really want them to patch anything. But the point is here. Sorry guys, my eyes is re my eyes really itchy. But passing game isn't really my thing just yet. Maybe I just don't know a scheme properly set up for me just yet. But that's understandable. But the run game, it's going well. Now guys, I'm gonna head over to the auction block real quick so you guys can see the price of some of the players. I think now probably do like three to five. Now guys, before we get into the video. Make sure to go down below if you're new to this channel and smack the sub button, guys. You guys did it. I'm at 3. Point almost 2K. Almost 3,200. If you remember yesterday, I was at like 1.8, I mean 2.8. And I said, guys, can we hit 3K by tonight or the next night? We gained like 300 subs last night. So thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smack that sub button. Let's get to 4K by next week, boys. Let's do it. Also, go down below. Hit the noti bell to be notified every time I post. Also, let's get 100 likes in this video. You guys have been killing the like button. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it, guys. Let's get into this video. So first things first. I'm going to start on the lower tier. For people that can't afford some of the higher tier stuff. So, remember, this isn't the card I'm talking about, but this is a very, very glitchy card that if you guys can't afford the next one, I'm going to say. Some of the next players I'm going to say. I'm going to start with the lower ones. Philip Lindsay. If you guys can't afford the running back, I will give you. Philip Lindsay is the next best thing. He has an 86 speed, 83 excel, 83 agility, 84 carrying. Forget the other stats, that's not what he is. He is an 86 speed beast. He's going to outrun almost the whole field. You get him in open field, he's done. And he also has first one free, homer, and backfield mismatch. So why is this perfect? You could probably snipe this guy out for around 34k, 33k. He will have all abilities on him. If you guys know, abilities cost like 60 to 70k total after training. So you're saving on abilities that you might not be able to afford. And you're getting an 86 speed beast. He's my backup running back. He is amazing. I definitely do not. I, I, I love using him. Now guys, another guy that I would consider a budget beast for a lot of teams would be Golden Tate. Now, Golden Tate stats at first glance will come off as amazing. But if you look, he has Slot-O-Matic, Max Security, and Slot-Apprentice. And Slot-Apprentice is huge. Slot-O-Matic is huge. Max Security. I'm not saying you, you're going you're gonna to win games with him. I'm saying that this is just quick little budget honorable mentions in case. I highly recommend. Highly recommend. If you're working on a budget and you can't afford the players I'm about to announce, go with a lot of mod superstar players because they have built-in abilities. Abilities are a big big factor i promise you i didn't think they'd make this much of a difference i'm sorry i tell you guys what i have with my players and it makes a crazy difference so look into the superstars because although they might be low overalls their abilities will more than make up for it now when it comes to defensively at this end i mean at cornerback you're gonna need someone aj bouye is pretty good but he's pretty expensive but his stats are pretty nice and he does come with shutdown tip drill and acrobat so he's a pretty big beast when it comes defensively but that's about it for the lower guys. I want to get into these higher guys because guys, there's... I'm going to go over camps too. So there's going to be players and camps that you need to have on those specific players. And I promise you, your day is going to be a whole lot of a hell easier. I don't even think that came out right, but you guys get the point. So first one, first one guys, you know, it's not it's not Aaron Donald. I know, I know you guys are going to say who I'm going to say is going to be obvious, but it's not as... I'll, I'll tell you in a second what I'm trying to say. Khalil Mack. I have Aaron Donald. I have Reggie White. I have Damon Harrison. I have Michael. And I promise you, Khalil Mack's the best one. 
I thought it'd be Aaron Donald, but there is a difference. Aaron Donald is good. He's a great run stuffer. He stays in his gap. You know, he like stays in his role. I love him. He's he's the perfect complement to Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack, I don't know, maybe it's the defense I run, it's very possible. He comes screaming off the edge. I don't even have to send pressure. This guy, like, I'll be looking, I'll be looking downfield my user. I'm like, where's the ball going? Where's the ball going? And Khalil Mack's like teabagging on top of the quarterback already. I don't even know how he got there. I know it sounds obvious, but guys, it also doesn't have to be Khalil Mack. You also get the free Von Miller from series one trophies. So if you can also get that, I believe they will be very similar to how OP they are. They typically are. But look at these stats. They're nasty. He has insane stats. And Aaron Donald has just as good stats, but I promise you, Khalil Mack is just as good. I don't even have abilities on him. Imagine you power this man up with abilities. He'd be the most overpowered card in the game. Now the issue is that I'm banking and getting Von Miller, so that's why I haven't powered him up yet. But I promise you, Khalil Mack is crazy overpowered. Now, another guy that I think that you should have on your team. Again, it's the, Harrison Smith is really good, but he's too slow for my liking. This is why this next guy, Ken Houston. If you guys can't afford him, I get that. But Ken Houston... Forget his stats. Look at his speed, 88, right? Right now, with the way the run game is, with the way wiggle sticks are, you're going to give up a lot of open field plays. Ken Houston is like your cleanup man. He's the garbage man. He's so freaking fast and excel and pursuit and everything that if you break loose, he will catch you. So he's like my safety blanket. I love having him on the field because if you get Harrison Smith, he'll make plays when he's in position to make plays. Ken Houston will make plays from out of left field. And that's what I like because I know I like to hit stick a lot. So in the backfield, I'll give, I'll give up a missed hit stick and, and let him break loose for 70. But Ken Houston will stop him, and I'll clamp up in the red zone. It's very simple. But I think that's why so far the players I've given you. Outside linebacker. I think he's the most dominant guy for pressure. Pressure's huge. Strong safety. Most dominant guy to be a safety blanket for you. You need that. You need pressure and safety blanket. Because I'm going to be sending a lot of blitzes. I need a safety blanket. And not to mention, he has 86 hit power. So he's one of the hardest hitters in the game. He's six foot three, so he's massive. And he has an 86 zone when powered up. He's already at like an 89 for me. And powered up, he has an 80-something man. And pursuits up. And play wreck. This guy's a 89 overall beast. I know it sounds kind of obvious, but guys, you could go with a lot of other safeties. You can go with a lot of other defensive players. I'm telling you, what you just need is Khalil Mack and Ken Houston. Now, guys, for the offensive side of the ball, there's only one guy right now in this game. There's one man. One male that overpowers every other player in this game. It's not even close. Like, It's like here... And then here, it's not even close. Is it Pat Mahomes? No. You guys are probably wondering, right? Like, that new superstar Pat Mahomes is no overpower. He's good. Don't get me wrong, he's good. But I don't notice much of a difference from Tom Brady. Quarterbacks right now, when it comes to Elway, Mahomes, Brady, they all play kind of the same to me. And he's, he's I mean, he does have abilities. Don't get me wrong. He's very accurate. He does a lot of good things. But when I tell you this next guy is a glitch. He is a freaking glitch. I'm going to my binder for this one. You guys probably already saw him. I kind of spoiled him in the beginning of the video. You guys are staying. Well, you guys had your eyes peeled. This man right here. I should put. I have a bunch of clips. The only issue, guys, with my clips that I have. So that's pretty funny. I got matched up with Chewbacca. Chewbacca Lemma. How do you say his name? Yesterday in um seasons. By the way, I won. But the thing is that in that game, I had like 250, 300 yards with Marcus Allen. But I didn't really want to post it because you know it's another big YouTuber. So I kind of feel like. I should ask him first out of respect to post it, and I don't think he'd even answer me because I'm too small. I wouldn't even see me. But besides the point, I'll add a lot because that's the only one I really recorded with him so far. But guys, I just dropped 400 yards in seasons with him right before this. I dropped 300 yards before that. I don't even pass. Patrick Mahomes has ended two straight 40 uh, 40 point victories with zero passing yards. This guy right here, let me show you powered up. 88 speed, so he's like the fast. He's like Tyree Kill at running back. 87 acceleration, Tyree Kill at running back. 88 agility, so now he's like Barry Sanders. 84 elusiveness. Uh, 89 carrying, 84 trucking, 84 break tackle, and wait, it gets better. It gets, it gets better. He's six foot two, so he's huge. His strength is high. He's got 86 awareness, 8, 73 catching, which is very good for the first week of the game. I promise you, 73 catching is very high right now. Then he's got 61 pass blocks. So you put him in pass block protection. He's not going to get entirely cooked. He's got 82 jumping. He's got uh, skip returns bad, but I see people keep using him there. He's got an 84 stiff arm. He's got an 89 spin and 86 juke. If I get that spin move one more up, he breaks the threshold in the first card of Madden, like the first legend that dropped. This card's crazy. That's not even the best part, right? You think those stats are good. I was thinking, I don't need any abilities. This guy's a beast. And then I found the abilities. And then I found the abilities. So first off, Freight Train I'm gonna start with because this isn't even the best one. Freight Train. I versed Todd Gurley online. My friend has Todd Gurley. 
he literally demolishes me with Todd Gurley with Freight Train. So Freight Train is pretty much, you better have a second guy behind your tackler, because I'm putting the first tackler on his butt right now. Trust me, if you see someone with Freight Train, don't even bother tackling him. Just run into him with one guy and grab a second safety and come running in because he's, he breaks the first tackle. He gets those animations where they stiff arm you to the ground or they throw you to the ground they truck through. Trust me, you don't want to mess with Freight Train once they have you. You better tackle him for a loss. But guys, the ability you want to worry about here is evasive. Evasive is the glitchiest ability I have seen in all my years of Madden. The glitchiest thing I've seen in all my years of Madden. It pretty much takes Marcus Allen and turns him into a fast Marshawn Lynch into Marshawn Sanders. It is Barry Sanders combined with Marshawn Lynch, and it's not even close. He will put you on the ground and then do a triple YY no 360 spin move around. It is unreal what I've seen this guy do. So it started where I got matched up with uh, New York Giants Kev. You know him on Twitter. He's pretty, pretty, I'm pretty known in the community. But I got matched up with him, right? So I versed Marcus Allen. He evasived me to death. He acts like, you know what evasive is? It's like when you get the perfect time juke move and you go right left. Like, it was like Madden 13 juke moves. I kid you not. It's like a juke that sends you into another universe. I, he could juke out three people. He goes like, like that, that fast. You do one back and forth, done, gone. And he always jukes him out. Like, if he does that juke, you're getting juked out. And to make it even worse, if he has freight train activated, you juke him out and they can truck the safety over. This card, I promise you, I'm going through seasons games, winning 40 points, zero passing yards, which means they know I'm running the ball. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. This guy is a glitch, an absolute glitch. I'm just letting you guys know. If you guys want to win weekend league, get this card. I understand he might be expensive. I understand. That's all the coins you have. Okay, but if you're not good at the run game, don't don't take my word for that because if you're not going to be good at the run game, it's going to be kind of hard. If you can get it's an inside zone, Quick pitch, counter. Only three things I run. I run a pitch, they start playing the outside, I run inside zone, they play the inside, I go back counter. It, it's very simple, the scheme I run with, with running. Guys, I'm just letting you guys know. If you want to compete, I was talking with Xerxes about this for like five days now. We're literally saying, if you if you have Marcus Allen in Weekend League, like if you don't have Marcus Allen in Weekend League, you're already behind. Everyone and their mom's going to have him. But guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. These are the players you need to have in Weekend League. I only give you guys two budget ones because realistically, those aren't going to win it for you. Those are just going to make it a lot easier for a lower budget team that's trying to compete. But this is more for the guys that are, most of the guys that are going to compete are going to have pretty great teams considering that's what Weekend League typically is. So I'm just letting you guys know, Marcus Allen, Khalil Mack, Ken Houston, not Donald, not D-Hop, not Mahomes, Ken Houston, Khalil Mack, and Marcus Allen are my whole team. They're the ones that do everything for my team. That is why I'm so concerned about you guys having those three players. Now, remember, you could always power guys up to get close to him, like an 87 Ken Houston by powering him up. But again, those stats aren't nearly as good. But guys, that's about it for this video. It's dragged on long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, smack the sub button. Let's get to 4K subs by next week. Hopefully, guys, by my birthday, August 12th, let's get to 4K subs. That'd be really nice if we could. I feel like we can. We've been killing it. You guys have been killing it, truthfully. I'm just putting the content out. You guys are the ones with the support. And let's smash the like button. Let's get to 100 likes. Comment down below if I missed anyone, if you guys think there's anyone more overpowered. If you guys think I'm straight out wrong, argue with me about it. I'm ready. For, I, I, I love it, you know, because it challenges me to really think about it a little better and even better my videos in the future if I was wrong about something. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.